Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Yix R Us. And today we have another grocery haul video. And guess what? I got everything here for a dollar, well, each. But still, or less. That was less. Because if that was a dollar, it actually wouldn't be a very good deal. It was pretty crazy. Nelson actually saw a good deal on the palm olive dish soap. And it's like the 828 milliliter jars or jugs or bottles, which is substantially large. And they were a buck each. So he's like, babe, let's go to No Frills. And so we went to No Frills and we got all of this. Which were a dollar each. Now some of the deal, some of it's a bit of a better deal than other stuff, but I mean overall I'm really happy with it. What happened was actually I kind of sent Nelson in on his own to get the items because uh, Nathaniel had just fallen asleep in the car and I didn't want to jostle him out again and Ginevra was kind of getting sleepy. I use an app called Flip for my groceries because it just kind of helps me remember make a list and if I am price matching because my local Walmart allows me to price match as well as some other stores um, it just gives me a good list and it makes it a lot easier for me so anyways I sent Nelson in to get the items but I forgot to tell him the quantity of of everything so this is what he came out with and and I'm actually pretty proud. Palm olives. He got 10 jars. Well, I keep calling them jars, but it's actually bottles. I got 10 bottles of the palm olive. This will last us forever because we do have a dishwasher. We usually use dishwasher for most of our dishes. However, for pots and pans and stuff, we do use the dish soap. Uh, this was an awesome, pretty awesome deal. I mean, it's three pounds of potatoes for a dollar, which is pretty great. I mean, I've gotten like the big 10 pound bags for a dollar ninety nine before, but if you don't end up using all of it, you have food waste, and if it's food waste, then it's also money wasted. And I always feel really bad about food wasting. And actually, one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to waste less food, buy what we need for our pantry and for you know our fresh produce and stuff, and really try to use it up and eat it up before it goes bad. So far, we've been doing pretty good. There's just been a couple of things that I kind of forgot about because life kind of happened, and um, we did have to purge some items that kind of expired. So leave me a comment below. What are some of your best food-saving tips? We also got some um canned beans i remember my mom used to get these and i absolutely love them now i only really saw what was it the it was like this the sweet one i think it's like a brown sugar and bacon i was like oh let's get one of those he ended up getting four of them and i had never tried this one never tried this one had this one before but it tastes so good on white rice it just it does it tastes so yummy on white rice at least it did when i was like eight or nine years old so if memory serves me right, it will still taste absolutely delicious. White sugar was a great deal. It was a dollar for the entire 2K package. Chickpeas, because I want to try to make hummus. I have been craving hummus for a while now, and I've been meaning to make it, but I keep forgetting to buy chickpeas. And uh, my friend, Hedgy, or Heather, she actually gave me a recipe, and so I'm looking forward to try it out. I know I can do the store-bought ones, but I, I wanna try making it myself. And two, it hasn't gone on a steep enough sale for to entice me to cave to my cravings. So the next thing he got was a pint of grape tomatoes. These are really yummy. If you slice them in half and you stick them in your oven you can actually dehydrate them and they make really yummy sun-dried tomatoes to top on top of like pizzas and stuff or just you know to have it on some baguettes with some like olive oil it is so yummy or you could just eat them like this in a salad next thing was sour cream because of course you had to get the 14 percent fat now then <laughs> i usually i don't get the zero fat but i usually get the lower fat one he of course nelson being nelson got the full fat one but that's okay ginevra has now fallen in love with the idea and i say idea of eating nachos because she's never really had full-blown nachos and ginevra is a picky picky eater and so i've been trying to introduce her to new foods new food ideas and i'm telling you it is a struggle but i mean she's getting better and one day she's like mommy what are nachos? I'm like, oh, well, there's this and this. You want to try? She's like, yeah. So she wants to try nachos. Mama's going to make nachos or nacho-ish because if I make it spicy, she won't eat it. So let me know also if you have any tips on how to get your picky child to try more foods, 
please leave a comment below so that I can try it on Ginevra as well. Um, so yeah, so I got the sour cream, which was a dollar for the small pack um, for the nachos, as well as some avocado so that I can make some homemade guac. Oh, I forgot to buy cilantro. That's okay. But I'll get some cilantro like tomorrow or something. But I'm going to make some homemade guac for my nachos as well. Garlic, because Nelson thought that we needed garlic, although we did it. But it was only 67 cents, so it's not bad. We do cook with garlic almost in every single meal I make. Now, the last thing we got, this was an excellent deal. This is 8 ounces or I guess a cup. I don't know. Anyways, it's eight ounces or a half pound of spinach. And these are delicious because you can put them in smoothies. You can cook them, put them in your sandwich, or we can make a, a salad. Oh, I have some strawberries. So I can make some strawberry salad with it. And that would be super duper yummy. <laughs> I don't know. In in the States, I know there's the Family Feud's been running forever, but up here in Canada, they just started the Canadian version of Family Feuds. And do you know the episode that I'm talking about? If you know the episode that I'm talking about, where the lady the the question was, what is Popeye's favorite food? And she just goes, Chicken! <laughs> So funny. Oh my god. Because she was thinking Popeye's chicken, but she's really talking about Popeye the Sailor Moon. And of course, not Sailor Moon, Sailor Man. And of course, his favorite food is spinach. So when Nelson walked back to the cart with three packages of spinach, that clip went straight to my head. But yeah, these are going to be really, really yummy. It's one of my favorite vegetables to put into our spaghetti sauce because Ginevra's really willing to eat it without any complaints at all. She gets more fiber and iron and all that goodness. The other thing I like to do with spinach is to make this, um, it's like a Chinese dish actually. It's a three type, it's a vegetarian dish and it's three types of eggs stir fried with spinach. So you get the, um, salted duck egg, regular egg, and the century egg, and you mix it together with the spinach, and it is super duper tasty. I think it's called like sambal or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember. I have to ask my mom when I see her tomorrow. Um, the other thing, my other plants with the avocado is that I have some English muffins, and I have a poop load of eggs in my fridge, so I get to make avocado English muffins, um, which will also be really yummy. Have you guys ever tried the avocado boats? So you literally just take the avocado, you leave it in its shell, and you stick it in the oven after you take out the, um, the, the seed or the pit, and you crack an egg right in the middle, how did that turn out for you guys? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but mine didn't turn out well. It just, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. So if you have any tips on how to make avocado boats taste yummier, please let me know because I would love to try it again and, you know, elevate the flavor profile of that because, I mean, I do really like avocados, but the avocado boats that I made was a bit of a, not... It was just a bit, it was a little underwhelming. This was our no frills dollar days haul. I'm quite pleased with it. We did a bunch of other grocery shopping at Costco and things too for this week. But like all of this came under 30 bucks. And like, like seriously, we stockpiled on this. These are things that we're going to be using right away. I, have, I wonder if I can even freeze it. I don't know. So thank you so much for joining me on this super quick $1 haul. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do Click that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have a bunch of cooking videos coming up as well as we are going to be traveling in the nearest future. So I'll have some travel vlogs for you as well. And of course, just some little updates about what's going on in the Yik household. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.